Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Domes here and today I have a brand new video for you guys. Today I have a 1v1 against Icy for $10. So the winner of this wins $10. That's basically it. But um, I wasn't really recording my voice this match where I was, but I wasn't really talking. So I was trying to focus during the match. Obviously, it was just a sweaty match for $10. Both of us over the wins. Takes 10 from the other person. Um, I did play him after this on the GB match. Um, he was 39 and 0. I did beat him. So I would include some of Icy's reactions of him losing to me in the 1v1 GB since I wasn't recording and I was only able to clip a few things here and there. So I clipped one full round against Icy and then I clipped one of his rage moments. So I end up I'll include it in this video for you guys to watch, you know, have a little bit of fun watching. But um, I'm gonna try to have fun editing this video to see how it goes. Love you guys though. Peace. No shot, he's that nerdy, bro. You think you can do this shit? Yay! You think you can do this to me? You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. 
Gary! <laughs> You literally don't hit shot, bro. Your ass. <laughs>
terus kita terus might go down for two second half uh we still have time to make this back up i mean if he plays the mid map which i'm pretty sure he is gonna do he's gonna try to play for the home off the mid map area he's gonna hold mid map down he doesn't even know i'm gonna have bull talk so as long as i get bull talk we should be okay and plus he's not he doesn't have knees planted on me good I don't know how the fuck that killed me, but one pass. He shouldn't have gotten that boom kill, to be honest. I was on the left side of the cover. It's all right. <laughs> we go we go four two second half, which is any that's really nothing to be honest. That's a good lead to have if you're in a winning team, but it's also not something to be disappointed about going into the second half. I can easily win five rounds in a row, for example, and he can easily win three rounds in a row. I just can't allow that to happen. He put a, he put a boom down mid map, which basically stops this game from being momentum based well rotation based you wanted it to be just in between mid map area fights i hate that fight mid map by the way i've never been good at it uh if it was at t like the boom shot was down at tunnels it would have worked in my favor that's what i'm gonna do next round if he ended up putting a boom down that's losing the very first round if i lose the next round i'll just put a boom shot or a drop shot down at down at e or something any fight that's not mid i'll change it to I 
Watch that. Enemy mark. Let's do this. I never usually lose these when I get up before anybody. But so he got the chunk first. Uh, I should have held my shot. <coughs> 75. I didn't know I had him that hurt, to be honest. 75 isn't bad either. I didn't know I had him that hurt. If I had him that hurt, I would have literally just, like, taken my time with that shot. But I was pretty hurt myself, to be honest. He misrolled. Uh, should I even play for it? Yeah, I'm gonna play for his home. Realistically, I don't have to, but I'm going to anyways. Ah, uh, missed my shot by the inch. I would have chunked them. This fight is going to be cancer. The home hill fight, the main reason why it's bad because it's short respawn. And by the time you get to my home hill, the person is spawning up. This kind of ruins the whole thing for me. Now I should definitely have a little bit more time. Not that much more, but by the time I get there, he should be just spawning up. I have to win this fight if I want to win the round, basically. Oh, that was a big fight. I don't have to fight him no more, to be honest. I could just rotate. That was a really big fight. I don't have to do nothing much to win this round. This round is basically secure unless I die. That's the only way I could lose the round. I'm going to have two hills to my advantage. I don't have to do much, literally. not rotating yeah he isn't rotating but oh, he is rotating all right he can have fun rotating I have to break his home and break my home honestly I'm chilling And that's how you hold your shot, ladies and gentlemen. Because he's holding his shot. He's trying to play for the one shot chunks. He has a chance of winning the round. When it comes to rotations, Icy can't beat me. The only way he can beat me right now is by putting him down a boom shot. He's going to put up down a boom mid map. If I lose that round, I'm going to put a draw shot at E. Now you guys may be asking, why would you put a draw shot at E? Now if I change the fight at E... He won't have time to bring boom shot to E and the hills on E. And I much rather fight at E than at fucking mid map. So right now he's gonna slap a boom down. Right? If we lose this round, our main objective right now is to try changing the fight somewhere else around the map, like around statue or pistons. If we get that done, we should have a better chance of winning this game. But as of right now, it's really hard to win this game if he keeps putting a boom shot down mid map. I just have to win my fight middle. I've just never been good at the fight mid, so I guess it's good practice for me, even though it's a wager. It's still good practice. If I could get that down, what I just said I wanted to get down. Realistically, we're gonna be up in points no matter what here. All you have to do is ignore the fight. We'll be good. Yeah, realistically, we win this round just off of rotation. You have to out rotate them, though. Literally.
All right, so as you guys can see, he's going for my home hill, which is fine. He does have a boom shot in his favor. The question is, is he actually rotating? I'm not sure if he's actually rotating the E though. Yeah, he is. We're good. Yeah, he has to chase me. He's making it almost impossible for anyone to run. Realistically, he won the initial, but it didn't, it didn't matter. That boom shot almost killed me. Good try, though, buddy. Alright, so he won the boom shot round, even though he won the initial. He got the boom shot. That just shows you that even when a boom shot doesn't really matter, as long as you rotate correctly, you shouldn't lose the round, to be honest. If you rotate perfectly without dying. He had a boom shot the whole round. He downed me behind the wall, man. That's sickening. I had a free chunk and I choked. I should've never gotten that close. I could've just played for shots. Realistically, I should've just played for shots. So he does have a boom shot, right? We are gonna have enough time to spawn up. Now, this round isn't, it is not impossible to not win it. Like, he, we still have a chance of winning this round, obviously. He has to hit me with snipe, kill me with snipe. Which I know is what he wants. He obviously wants to push us with sniper. And he choked with boom. So we're in a really good spot here. Oh, uh, he had two boom shots and choked because he picked up sniper. He didn't have a shotgun. Uh, we're in a really good spot right now. So basically, once we break this hill and cap it, uh, all we have to do is rotate around the map once again. You know, I don't have to fight him ever again. He's gonna come to E for some odd reason. I really don't even need to fight that. I don't. Yeah, he's gonna have some points, but. I personally do not need to fight that. I can just play for E and the home hill and I'll still be good. Once I cap this, I'm gonna go to E and hopefully we'll come out with a W. He choked around even though he won the initial.
right there. He had no other choice. He was hiding in open. He was expecting me to go open. But I ended up just playing for E because I'm already up in points. Realistically, he ended up choking the hell at the fight with the home hill fight. It was really nothing much I had to do after that. All I had to do was rotate. Since I killed him at the home and I had E cap and he went to E. By the time he capped E, I already had his home hill. Almost secured, basically. Oh man, he keeps winning the initial right there. I, I could have killed him. I could have definitely killed him off the initial. He keeps winning the initial. This mid fight is not for me. I hate this middle fight right there. I fucked up the smoke. He does have a sniper though. Um, I'm not sure what he's gonna try to do here though. Uh, let me see what he's gonna. He's going to my home. All right, so that's good. Uh, he killed me. If it hits seven seconds before he rotates, I'm not sure if he'll have enough time to go. Uh, I'm not sure if I have enough time. We'll see. Four, three, two. He just hit the ramp just now for sure. Um, yeah, we do have time to break the hill, which is good. Unless he pops me, which is possible, but. Thank God he just hit the shot, that's it. Honestly, I don't have to do much, but rotating cap hills. Moon's gonna be up in a little bit. Um, I do have to die one more time to boom shot though. That's good. That's honestly really good for us. Um, dang, he got a sniper out though. I might have to force this fight mid map. It's still possible to win this, but the only way it is going to be possible is if uh, I kill him. And what I mean by that is boom is enough right now. It shouldn't be up to like the 30 mark. Uh, I have to somehow smoke him out at boom. Uh, he won that round. Now we can actually change the fight though, which is one really good positive out of the situation. So now that we finally lost around this 5-5, and he has a boom shot mid map, we don't have to do much. Um, realistically, now I can put a weapon of my choice, right? Because he wants to play the fight at boom. By the time he gets to mid map and picks up boom shot, I should have a drop shot. Now, the one positive out of this whole situ scenario is if I put a drop shot here, he's going to have boom shot and snipe, but I'm going to have a drop shot and I'm going to have a home hill. So regardless of the situation, like I'm going to have a guaranteed power weapon and he's going to have a guaranteed power weapon. No matter it, the, like at this point, it's whoever like wins their fights with the power weapons. Literally, it's that simple. He's playing drop shot with me, which is honestly lovely because I like this fight. That's good for us. We're gonna pick up the power weapons to get them out the map. We're gonna cap E, pick up sniper, drop snipe so you can't get it. And we're gonna go for drop shot. That's our goal right now. So he doesn't have any power weapons in play. That was really good for us. Now we're talking. Oh, this is my shit right here. Now we have a boom shot in play. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the drop shot on top of the steps so I can still waste a boom shot and have a drop shot on me. Where's your drop shot at? It also depends where he goes. Hold up.
he is at E. This doesn't really mean much. He can be at E all he wants. I could play it smart and just play through catwalk. If he dies here, he's pretty much fucked. Long shot is up, which is good. As long as we don't get this up, we should be good. Long shot is enough, which is another positive of the scenario. That was really, 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 really good for us. Super good. Now, there is going to be a boom shot mid map. Now, the positive scenario out of this, right? He has to go to his home hill. If he doesn't go to his home hill, we're going to be at an advantage. And we should be coming out of spawn before him. If I cap the home, and I basically have to run around the map. So, he's probably end up gonna go mid, end up going mid map. Oh, he's okay. So, he's playing it smart. He's trying to play for the power weapon, which is fine. He can do that all he wants. Realistically, he could have boom shot too. Yeah, he did end up going for boom. Right now, we should guarantee the win because if he does come for me, we have to win no matter what. He's gonna end up shooting a boom shot across the map. There you go. Once we cap this, it's impossible for him to come back. He almost killed me, but it didn't matter even if he did kill me with that boom. And now we're back to where we started, baby. Now, Icy has to make the choice. Do I go for boom shot or do I take boom shot off? If he takes drop shot off, I have to go back to mid map. So that's exactly what he's planning. He's planning to do that again all over again, which isn't really a big deal. That's fine with me. Um, in reality, to be honest, if I really wanted to, I could play as super nerd and I even go mid map and just play for nades and just play for home hills. Yet again, I'll be risking giving him a boom shot. And I don't know if I'm ready to risk that, to be honest. I don't know if that's something I really want to risk right now. Eighty-three. Uh, I had him one shot. I'm pretty sure. Um, he does have a sniper and boom. He could choke this round. I'm wondering he could choke this round. Possibly, possibly. Is how I somehow make him waste both. He's gonna go for nades. I mean, he should be going for nades. I don't know why he's not going for nades, but he ended up going to the home hill, which is fine with me. Shit. Uh, yeah, this is gonna go to six six. Six six now. Again, I could change the fight once again. Now, what I am going to do. 6-6 six, six for the bread. I have to try to play this as smart as possible because I personally do not like that fight mid-map. That behind the pillar shit is honestly annoying. And I'm... I personally don't like go, I don't like going for reaction shots around the pillars against certain players because I feel like sometimes it fucks me over. I, they back off the pillar and I don't get the you know, full shot registration. But I did have one shot. So we do... We are going to go 6-6 six, six here. I am going to try to figure out what weapon can I possibly place here that would favor me if I end up going to this spot. A torque bow. Now, torque bow versus boom. Realistically, which one would you rather have? That's what you have to be asking yourself. If I do go end up going mid map, I do have to risk giving him, like fighting for boom, right? Or, or your boy could put down instance. I'm putting down instance. I'm taking the boom shot off. No more boom. No more fight mid map. He has to fight me at statue. And I would much rather fight that fight than the um mid fight. I had two choices there, either play a weapon for, for power, for power weapon or just make the main power weapon sniper, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now he ends up going mid-map anyways, which is fine. What does he have right now? We do have knees in our favor, and he does have a sniper, an instant.
realistically, hold up. We do have to kill him here. Oh, that was a big play by us, boys. That was really big for us. I don't know if he has a plan in instance, so keep looking for it. He doesn't have one. I guess his instant blew me up, which is kind of dumb, but we're still in a completely awful spot. Guys, how did I just die there? That doesn't make any sense. Realistically, I shouldn't have died there, but now he does have instance and a sniper and possibly nades. He is capping it. That's dope. GG's Icy. That was a fun game. 7-6. GG's to the man. He ended up choking a lot of rounds, but GG's to the man. Oh my god, I just choked because I didn't fucking pay attention, bro. Oh my fucking god, man. Oh my god, uh, I'm fucking mad. I literally thought I had another fucking boom.
shoot me. <laughs> 